Let's take a ride Baby, if you drive I'd go anywhere As long as you are there No coverage You have to be kidding No coverage? Guys, we don't need modern technology We came out here for nature, peace, and quiet Rach, it actually is kind of cool that we get to stay on your uncle's campground. Complete with an RV. Ooh, yeah. Two days of peaceful bliss. No noise in the city. No pollution. No smog. No processed food. I've never heard of anyone owning their own campground. Usually those are owned by the state. Right? Yeah. I wonder how he bought it. Or why he bought it. Maybe he's a serial killer who takes his victims' bodies, buries them in the woods underneath the campground. <laughs> no, 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 no. He is a mad scientist who dissects alien body parts oh and works for the government. Yes. <laughs> Come on, guys. Stop talking like that. You're giving me the creeps. Actually, I haven't seen him in years. I guess he lived up here because he was some sort of naturalist and he was obsessed with trees. Trees, huh? As in aspens? Aspen trees, oak trees, sycamore, pine. I don't know. You know, I haven't seen him since I was like maybe eight years old. My mom really never let us visit him and he never came around. This area is super creepy. I wonder why he could live up here all alone. Found it. Well, my mom said the key would be under one of these tires. If I was a key, and a which tire would I have? Hey, I'll yell for y'all when I find you. Right? Well, let's find the fire. Oh, you're on. <laughs> gives me the creeps. Ah! Oh, oh my god. That was so mean. Hey, I found the key. Oh, nice. Thank God. You guys, look at that tree. I've never seen a tree grow back into the ground like that. I'm gonna head in. I'm right behind you, man. Me too. Check it out. He's got a stove, a shower, a little bathroom. Look at this. Even comes fully stocked with water. That's weird. 
What do you mean? I mean, why would there be water? My uncle's been missing for over two years now. Nobody's seen him. We got access to the RV because my mom paid the lot dues back, but I thought it was completely empty. So you mean to tell me we're staying on the lot of your dead uncle? I never said he was dead, you guys. We just don't know what happened to him. Guys, we're here now. We got this whole place for the weekend. Let's make the best of it. I agree. about us why are you being so secretive because i want to keep what we have between us you know how <sighs> everyone gets when they find out they start getting noisy hey guys heather and i are going to work on tomorrow's hiking route sure you are uh-huh <laughs> of course we know about you and heather Staying in the same room, bro. Lots of friends sleep in the same room. All right, to be honest, we're not trying to rush into anything. We even brought two separate sleeping bags. What do you mean you brought two separate sleeping bags? I mean, sex complicates things, and we don't want to ruin the good friendship yet. All right, I can respect that. So let's get back to this love triangle of yours. <laughs> Rachel or Jordan? You know, Rachel's is more my type. You don't have a type. That may be so, but if I did, it would be her. What would be her? Um, nobody. I was just, you know, getting this luggage in. Oh, well, I came to help. Ah, we're good. You sure? Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, man, let's go ahead and get this done. Yeah. Now, Rach, this uncle of yours, he just disappeared and nobody has seen him since? From what I know, he was really into preserving nature. And he was really into the existence of other life. I don't know what happened to him. Wait, you mean alien life? 
Let me get this straight. You brought us out on a camping trip to an RV site owned by your dead, oh, I'm sorry, missing uncle, who's some freaking Trina, an alien lover? You know what, no, this is crazy. I say we go home. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. We are not going home. I'm sorry, guys. I guess I should have told you. I just didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. Oh, Rage, it's not a big deal. You guys, we're gonna have a great trip. We're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna go to bed, guys. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. If we all survive. <laughs> you guys, we need to make sure all these windows are locked and these blinds are closed so some weirdo can't just come up in here and look in. We are out in the middle of nowhere. We're fine. No. No, I heard that bears can unlock windows and unlock doors. Jordan, <laughs> the door locks from the inside. How about this? Let's turn these lights off and go to sleep. What do you think of this place? It's pretty creepy, huh? Yeah, it is pretty creepy. Nothing a little kiss wouldn't fix. Now you want to kiss me? What is our next step? Next step? What do you mean? Like, where is this relationship going? Not now, Heather. I just want to relax and enjoy this trip. Let's just take things slow, minute by minute, day by day. Fine. I don't know. I, I, I thought I saw something. Like what? What are you doing up? I'm sorry, guys. It was nothing. Go back to sleep, please. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Help you? Good morning, ma'am. My name is Sheriff Poe. Sheriff, huh? Yes, ma'am. Don't get a lot of travelers around these parts, and I noticed that all of the doors on your vehicle is wide open. Team DJ must have left those open. Uh, door open. This is Sheriff Poe. You said you guys left the SUV doors open all night. I don't remember leaving any doors open. I don't know, we were all super tired. Maybe you didn't notice? Guess so. Well, like I say, we don't get a lot of visitors around these parts and kind of stuck out like a sore thumb, if you know what I mean. Well, we just came up here for the weekend to go hiking. So, you guys are hiking, huh? Not really officially, but we all need the nice clean air and what better place to get it? Wouldn't it be a shame? There wasn't any clean air. 
Then where would you go? Oh, good, son. Clean air, that is. Sheriff Poe came by to make sure we were all safe. Yes, ma'am. How long you guys planning on staying? Just the weekend. It's a good weekend. Why is that? Just because anytime surrounded by nature beats anything surrounded by crime, obsession, ignorance, corruption, you know the norm. Oh, you're a park ranger and a nature freak, I presume. Hey, stop it. Ah, uh, it's okay. Not many people sign up for this job. Hell, I didn't see more non-people than I have people. Non-people? You said you see more non-people? Yeah, you know, uh, trees, plants, animals. What do you know about Rachel's uncle? He. Really? I'm sorry. I told all my friends my uncle disappeared, and now everybody's super curious. Well, you mind if I take a sit down? I've been standing all day. Please, yeah. have a seat. Right there for you. Thank you. Well, what do you think happened to him? You mean Dr. Moss? Doctor? I had no idea that he was a doctor. Around these parts, he was known to be a doctor of sorts. Luma is the person that seen him last was a videographer that he hired that night. Your uncle disappeared, has a vanished. No traces of foul play, just here one day and gone the next. He loved nature and appreciated her beauty. He also was interested in communicating with life beyond the star. Well, I understand that he picked this very location because of all of the energy in the trees. A way to connect to the other world. Wait, why have I never heard about any of this before? I knew that he liked trees, and I knew that he believed in aliens, but nothing about his disappearance. Well, maybe they didn't want you to know. Wait, wait, what are we talking about here? Are you really talking about aliens? Aliens. Well, yes, we're talking about connecting with the outer world. What does that even mean? I think you mean voluntary abduction. Yeah, sure, I've heard of those. Well, I can either confirm or... Yeah, yeah, we get it. Confirm or deny. You seem to know a lot about Rachel's uncle. Ma'am, I'm the local sheriff. It's my job to know what's going on around here. Heather, move over real quick. This is creepy. Look, y'all, we came up here for fresh air. Not to be a part of the Stephen King story. Yeah, I'm with DJ. I mean, this little fairy tale is nice and all, but it's a bit much. Well... That's what I heard. Who knows what really happened? It's nice to meet you. Well, thank you, Sheriff. Likewise. You guys have a good day. Weird. This is just too freaky for me. Like, I know Poe is weird, but at least he's here to protect us. That story about your uncle, though, right? I, I don't get it. Some Yogi Bear Poe shows up and tells a story about your uncle and his serious work in alien communication? I mean, really? You guys actually believe this crap? It's like a bull just took a dump all over this place. Well, what do you think happened, T? I don't know, but it ain't the great adventures of Dr. Moss and his incredible alien tree talkies. What's funny is he told the story like it was the truth. I just don't get why my mom never told me any of this. You know, Rach, maybe that's why your family never let you visit out here. I don't know. So yeah, still no service. This is pointless. All right, everyone, give up your phone. I'm not giving you my phone. Heather, we came out here for nature, peace, and quiet. You don't need phones for that. Fine. Give them up. Take it. Uh. All right, now everyone promise, no phones. No hey. phones. Hey, y'all, want to make sure everybody's hydrated no. on this hike? Everybody good on water? Yeah. Don't forget the first aid kit. Oh, and the compass. Perfect. Well, what do you need a compass for when you got me? 
four years Navy comms, I can find anything. Aww. Aww. Hey. Oh, you're the <laughs> sir. <laughs> Just saying. Build it! Go. Yeah. Yes. That's what we came oh. here for. Yeah, bring you up water. Look, guys, look at this tree. Wow. Wow. Oh. oh my God. Wow. Oh. That's amazing. Seriously. Oh, you guys, I have never seen trees like this. Agreed. Yeah. It's almost magical. Yeah. This tree. This tree is like matriarch of all trees. Like the mother of all trees. Oh my gosh, what are you talking about? Here she goes. <laughs> Locked it. Oh wait, no. This tree is like kids playing in a yacht. Well, <laughs> you see it like yeah. I don't. I like your imagination. I don't see it though. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> What about this tree? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I like it. Please. Mm, that's just a tree. What? Something happened right there. You guys, what about this tree? Did you hear that? Yeah, I think I do hear something. Yeah. What is that? I can hear it, but I, I can't make it out. Yo, this tree's got light. No, you guys, this tree is creepy. Yeah. Time to find a happy tree. Yeah? Okay. I agree with Jordan. Let's hit the path. That doesn't look good. I know. What do you think about it? Oh, it's okay. I mean, like, I'm so tired. I don't know. My fingers are like a little ice cube. Oh, that's cold. So, anyway, guys, that was great. Yeah, it was. I really I felt it. It would look cool as you can being so close to nature. Yeah, I really felt the connection. I felt the connection, all right. And these two. Oh, I'm a TV relief. I second that. Oh. Hey, uh, T, what would you think about the hike, man? Where's T? your uncle lived way out here? Beats me. We were just talking about that before you disappeared on us. Yeah, geez. I can't take a pee around here. I don't know who in their right mind would want to live up here. I'd go crazy. Gotta be a reason, though. Well, maybe all this peace and quiet got you. I don't know. Listen. Hear that? Hear what? Listen. I hear it. I hear it, but I don't know what it is or, or where it's coming from. Hey, this is wild. What was that? 
Probably just the wind. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'm fine. Thanks. Well, I know it's late now, but you want to get a fire going? No. It's so creepy out here. I just want to get inside. Yeah, I agree with Heather. Maybe we should just go inside and turn on. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get out of this cold. in here. Oh, that was crazy. Yeah, this was supposed to be fun. It was insane. So please, class, tell me. If there is another life form, say, aliens, then why would they let us destroy this beautiful world and each other through war? Anyone? Well, Professor, Maybe these aliens want to coexist and share our resources. So, do you believe in aliens? <laughs> oh. I do. Oh, DJ, please, explain. Why, sure. <laughs> See, we're all just energy. Different forms of energy. But it would be naive to think that in this world that we're living in, that there would only be one source of energy. If I ever came across another life form, I wouldn't be afraid. Mm -hmm. Nope. Energy is just energy. B.S. If a spaceship came down right now, you'd be squirting from both ends. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. I'd be like, what's happening, man? Shake really? his hand. Say, I come in peace. And that's when they probe you. <laughs> you got jokes, Jordan. <laughs> Wait, Rach, what do you believe? I don't know anymore, but I guess 
our whole world, our whole galaxy is created from energy. So I can't believe that life neither starts nor ends with just us, right? That's what I think. Fair enough. You know what? We need to stop all this discussion about aliens. Come on. Can we just relax? Probably a good idea. Class dismissed. Yeah, I can't believe we went as long as we did. <laughs> Time to take a load off. Off with the shoe. <laughs> Thanks for not <laughs> well, Everything seems to work. What do you think? Cooking utensils. Wine opener. old newspaper clippings. Guys, look what I found. What is that? Man, your uncle was really into this stuff, like, heavy. Local doctor searches for link between worlds. I guess he was a doctor. Local Dr. Ron Moss furthers his study of the connection between alien life and their existence through trees. There you go. But I wonder why he thought that trees had anything to do with alien life. He must have found something out here. Yeah, but what? Hey, uh, T. Can I talk to you over here for a second? What do you think is really going on? I don't know. This place? Popo's story. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I don't know. But Sheriff Poe is not everything he's pretending to be. I know that. But his story is so convincing. Yeah, I gotta give him that. For some reason he feels fake. But this story seems real. Yeah, I know. Time will tell what's going on here. <laughs> I hope so. You and me both, man. So, what happened in here last night? Yeah, because nothing happened out there. Nothing happened in here either. We're taking things slow. Uh, he won't commit, will he? <sighs> no. I knew it. But enough about me. Did you tell him yet? <sighs> tell him what? You are never gonna get what you want unless you go for it. I know. I know, I almost told him earlier. Okay, well, then pretend I'm DJ. What are you <laughs> gonna say to me? I'm not doing this. Why not? You better get your practice in now. <laughs> All right, okay, fine. All right. <sighs> so, DJ, I've been meaning to tell you something. Tell me about what? Yeah, we'll give you two a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> Tell me. Oh. So, um, DJ. Yep. Um, I was wondering if you and me could hang out sometime. Um, I'm, I mean, that's what we're doing right now, though, right? Yeah, yeah, but, um, I mean, hang out, like, just you and me, one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, anytime, yeah, um, you just let me know when, all right? <sighs> Why am I wasting my time?
you know what? You guys are a bunch of deadheads. It's time to live in this party. in the neighborhood, decided I'd stop by and check in on you. Give me somewhere to sit. Oh, nice. Yeah, come on, right here. Oh, you want something to drink? All right, what you got? Water. Okay. Uh, I think I'm okay on that. Okay. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, thank you. I thought this was a party. What happened to the music? I know. Right. Turn it on. Get the beats going. The sheriff. I don't know if I've ever met or seen a Black Forest Ranger. You're like a black version of Andy Griffith. That's the first time for everything. Yeah, I guess so. But wait, tell me this. How is it that you can stay out here? I mean, there's no fun. There's no clubs. You don't even have cell phone service. No, nothing. I mean, no girlfriend? Actually, there's nothing but life up here. Nature is my girlfriend. trees per minute. The rates for rainforest destruction are 2.4 acres per second, 179 acres per minute, 214,000 acres per day, and 78 million acres per year. Your Dr. Moss committed his life to expanding the minds of you simple people. I'm sorry. I guess you could say that your uncle was sort of a hero to me. Hero? What he stood for is more than what people can imagine. Hey, is everything okay? Oh yes, everything's great. 
Hey. You okay? I'm fine, but something really strange is going on with Poe. Well, I mean, I guess he's kind of creepy, cute, all in the same breath. Are you kidding? Whatever. Wait, what did he say? Nothing worth repeating. Okay, you sure? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Enough is enough. T, what are you doing? All right, Poe, what do you think really happened to Dr. Moss? What do you mean, what do I think? Well, DJ thinks you're the videographer and you actually killed Dr. Moss. Well, actually, that was T's idea. To be honest, I just think you know more than what you're telling us. You guys stop it. No. No, actually, did leave out a few details of the story. Well, what happened? There's a reason that your uncle lived up here around all these trees. He believed that trees were the life source to the outer world. He just hated the way that man cut down trees and destroyed nature. The room is, he preferred being around trees because he found a way to communicate. He began reaching out so one day, they reach back. Man, this is like the setup for the ultimate scary movie. Some crazy doctor uses his tree talkies to communicate with aliens. Please, tell me what happened next. Really, T, stop. Look, man, tell us what the hell happened. He became one with the universe. He became what he sought to protect. He felt robbed in his physical body, and he became a tree. To the dust we return. He is now the eye of the outer world. He became a tree? He knew that Nature's fury was at his boiling point, so he sacrificed his life. So he dies, crosses over, and becomes a tree? Not just a tree, but the eyes of the outer world. So what happened to the videographer? He committed suicide. By the time they discovered the footage, the film had been destroyed by beautiful Mother Nature. Of course, no footage. Funny how everyone who's had a talk with an alien never has any proof. Actually, I don't have the video, but I do have the audio. No way. You have the actual audio. Yes, ma'am. Right out there in my vehicle. I have the audio file saved on my work sale. And how did you get that? Ma'am, I'm the police. Sorry, Pooh, but I'll believe it when I see it. Well, let's hear it. I want to hear it. Wait, come on, guys. Let's not go digging up stuff. Why? I want to know what happened for me and my mother. He was her brother, after all. 
Okay. Go out to the car and get it. I'll be right back. We gotta watch this guy. Something is not right. Must have been the wind. This is crazy. Well, earlier you said that he turned into a tree. He turned into a tree. <sighs> Who found these? where he is. Not for sure. But some people say he's right out here somewhere. Like around here? In this area? You can go out there and put your ear to certain trees and hear I knew. Something was odd when we were hiking. Well, guys, I didn't want to say it outside and scare everybody, but when we were out there, one of the trees kind of pulled me into it. It was like a force or something. Like it was talking to me. Well, I say we go outside and find this tree. This is crazy. I'm not going back out there. DJ. Bro, get your jacket. I know you're not spooked. We're going tree hunting. And I know you're not scared, cowboy. I'd rather set a bed before I leave. It's all the same to you. Fine. I'll go. What? Heather, hand me my jacket. Also, you guys gonna find the right tree. All right. Come on, guys, don't do this. Oh, we're doing it. Let's go. Come on, guys. You guys have a good time. God, I can't believe this. <sighs> Great, another flashlight. You don't want to get caught in the dark. You and T, I assume? Me and T, yeah, we're together. But he doesn't want to commit, which I think is bold. And Rachel and DJ? Yeah, and I'm a lame duck. Not all ducks are lame to me. tree it is. 
I don't know, maybe that one? Other world? Nature and trees are the eyes to the window of the soul of our communities. We got the rest to scatter trees of ours. We can't do it. He fell. He found himself. Just like you do. When you transition over, you breathe life. You are born again. Born again? So, what are you painting? I'm painting your life. Your new life. Whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, Dad! Get me out of this place! There's a fucking fish in here! Help! Rachel! Do you do? Mama! Please, help! Heather, we have something to say. Oh my god, where is he? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Look, I got in. Wait, so you guys found the tree? What do you mean got in? I got in and I made contact. 
Where is my boyfriend? Heather, you gotta calm down so we can tell you exactly what happened, all right? Look. Three of us went out there, found the tree that I saw earlier. Then what happened? Went to go put my hand on it, and I was sucked in. Where I saw this man painting a picture. Wait, Rach, tell them what you told me. He told me that mankind was gonna have to pay for the destruction of nature. And that Mother Nature was gonna somehow undo all of our wrongs. So I got close, and I went to just touch the man. And before he could turn around, I was out. You don't tell me where T is? I'm going to go find him. Heather, look, T, T was just excited that Rachel connected, and then he just, he don't went. Don't tell me he tried to touch the tree. And he was just gone what do you mean gone he was just gone we turned around for maybe a second and then he was just gone no 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 no. wait did you guys go look for him you know t's always playing jokes oh this isn't a joke t is actually gone can't just be gone we have to go back out and find him hold on hold on hold your horses now i'm gonna head back to the station and gather a few volunteers to walk the back area of the trees. Maybe he just got disoriented and wandered off. Don't you worry, we gonna find him. You guys just hold out and hang out for a minute. Don't you go back out there. Wait, Sheriff. Thank you for helping us find T. Whatever I can do, ma'am. Look, Paul will find him. I'm sure he just ran off. This is all too creepy. I just want to go home. Seriously, I've been wanting to go home. Look, they're going to find T. We'll get a good night's rest. And first thing in the morning, we're leaving. I can't just stand here while he's out there. Heather, it is way too dark for us to go outside right now. Let's just let Sheriff Poe find him. I mean, he's a sheriff, and he's got all the resources. Yeah, as much as I want to go back out there, DJ's right. Yeah, I mean, at least until we figure out what we're dealing with. What do you mean? I mean, what if there's aliens outside right now trying to kill us, all because of the way society degrades nature? Then what? Pray, let's stay positive, and know that T will be found, and he'll be back. What if we're too late? Too late for what? Yeah, yeah. in lot 24. Think I hear my name in the wind. Am I sleeping in? It depends. In lot 24. I got goosebumps on my skin. Gotta stay on point like a pin. In lot 24. Hold up. Where is that, that damn is officer? Blame. Excuse me, sir. I'm Heather, calm down. He just left. I'm gonna go find him. No, hey. wait. It's no. not a good idea. No, you're not. It's too late, it's too dark, and it's obviously dangerous. We have to wait for them to come back. Heather, I just don't think that's a good idea. You didn't need help, he'd still be here. So now it's my fault? Yeah, kind of. Wait, wait, wait. It's nobody's fault. Come on, let's just be reasonable here. And reasonable is leaving your friend in the woods? Heather, I am just as scared as you are. We have to wait and make the best decision. The best decision is going out and finding him. Heather, no. Heather! Heather, no! Look, I'm gonna go after her before she gets too far. Heather, 
Heather, wait. Heather, please don't go out there. I have to find him. Look at Heather, just don't go running out there. Listen, Paul will get a team. He's gonna find T, trust me. You trust him? Do we have a choice, Heather? I think he has something to hide. Look, I don't know, but we're gonna find him. Just don't go running out there. I have to find him. Heather, please. I have to find Heather, him. Heather! No, I have to find him. Heather, come on T. now. T. Please. 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 Heather, wait! Stop that tapping.
Hey, Rachel. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Well, we worked all night. We couldn't find it. As a matter of fact, uh, we couldn't find anyone. We better head back to the station. File a missing persons report. Here, drink some water. You better get going. There's nothing left to see here. day no one knows what happened to Rachel and her friends on lot 24 I'm just trying to make it out alive I'm just trying to make it to the I'm just trying to make it to the when I get to her I'm a friend Have you ever had a dream? A dream of what could be Restoration, a dream that you could see Piece it together and the puzzle is complete That dream you have when you ain't even sleep Have you ever had a dream? Praying and you wait And to be honest, you don't care how long it takes You just wanna shoot and shoot the arrow straight The type of dream that make you stay awake Have you ever had a dream? A dream of what could be from your heart, a dreamer so unique Oh, you had a vision? Well, what you saw, was it complete? Cause it can come to life We'll watch it grow just like a tree We'll make it manifest It's faith in what you never seen You gotta know it's true It's only traveled by a few Do you believe it's real? Or do you still think it's a dream? Caught him by surprise Cause he didn't peep the scene Gotta build, little build up All jewels, no gold, no silver One ruby Decision set in stone, don't move me The shape I'm in ain't no telling how you view me No telling But what you see will fade away Away And what we live is day to day Today It makes you wanna fight a different fight The type of dream that keeps you up at night Have you ever had a dream? A dream of what could be Restoration A dream that you could see Piece it together and the puzzle is complete That dream you have when you ain't even sleep Have you ever had a dream? Praying and you wait and to be honest, you don't care how long it takes You just wanna shoot, and shoot the arrow straight The type of dream that make you stay awake Have you ever had Since a young and I've been writing Scribbling my trouble Brother ran away, older sister in her bubble Spent a lot of time with my auntie and my uncle That kept me leveled out You see my thoughts run amok, keep the devil out And if it outweighs your dream, that's some heavy doubt One foot in front of the other on this ready route stay Stay persistent, cause nothing worth having comes easy. I just been reading through the disobedience we've been just